hello so welcome back to my channel for those who don't know i'm latira and i also go by ray before we go any further there's something that i just want to say thank you so much for a thousand subscribers guys what a wild journey this has been so far but um <laughs> This means a lot, you all mean a lot to me, and I cannot wait to continue growing. So this won't be a long video, it's just some updates, like reading updates, um, and I also made a decision to get rid of a few more books, and I wanted to talk about that a little bit more. I have not been reading a lot this year because each week, ever since the start of the year, something has happened, but life has been a bit calmer lately, so I have gotten back into reading some, and I've, um, did, I did read a book recently and I'm in the middle of reading a book now and I've also been reading like a ton of fan fiction. I've also made the decision to get back into comics and I'm very excited about that. I read comics a lot when I was 15 but I stopped. I don't <laughs> Let's talk about the books that I have read so far this year. It's not much. Don't say I didn't warn you. You guys remembered at the beginning of the year when I talked about Alone With You in the Ether. It's a complex love story between Aldo and Reagan who both have mental illnesses but they're learning how to deal with that as well as deal with each other. There's a lot of talk about time and struggle. I personally like this book. There were a few things that I didn't like and I'll get to that in a second. But what I did like was, you know, the way it was written. Even though the pacing was a little slow, the writing was pretty. I kept up but there were some times where I didn't know who was talking like the author would be narrating and then be like she said this he said that but I don't see any quotation marks and nothing was like italicized either I hope I said that right <laughs> it took me a while to figure out like sometimes who was talking whenever there would be like a small flashback or something but once you get past that this is a nice book so when I did get home from college I decided to pick up some poetry that was on my shelf so I continued reading the pill that series by Courtney Pepperdell I started the series when I was still in high school but the last two books I kind of procrastinated with I loved um, the second book healing the heart but the third one is called mending the mind and the fourth one is called staging the soul I'm in the middle of this one then we have electric idol I finished this in mostly like one sitting guys this is an area in psyche retelling i hope i'm saying it right i don't know if it's psyche or psych so this is the sequel to neon guys by katie robert and this book gave me what i was you know mostly hoping for which is more information about 13 more world building about this modern world of this modern city of olympus i should say and i love the the drama here this has marriage of convenience i was sent to kill you but i kind of feel guilty so now i'm gonna help you out of this and the only way for you to get out of this is by you to marry me it, it's <laughs> I love the banter between these two characters dual point of view just like neon gods and i like this more than the first book you know i love hades and persephone retellings but something about this aries and psyche result i guys I, I was obsessed with this this is adult this is definitely adult <laughs> um, <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see my top work here but um there's a lot of pink there's a lot of pink so <laughs> Now, and my other current read is See You Yesterday by uh, Rachel and Solomon. This is the same author who wrote Today, Tonight, Tomorrow. And I kind of like it so far. I just, like, I'm seriously on, like, the first, like, 20, 30 pages or so. I just need to wait for the story to pick up a little bit. This is, like, a little over 400 pages. So I think it's a, yeah, it's a little longer than Today, Tonight, Tomorrow, but I'm still excited to read this nonetheless because I love the way this author writes romance. Uh, you guys know how I feel about Today, Tonight, Tomorrow. So... I've heard good things about this. I don't think I've heard anything bad, but I haven't seen so many reviews from like my circle of friends on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. So excited for this as well. Also, look at that pink. It's really, really bright. <laughs> There's that. And now I'm going to get into the books that I also decided to unhaul. So last week I made a video of me unhauling a few books. Um, a lot of those have sold and there's still a few available, but I am adding more to the pile. So here we go. First is Truly Madly Deadly by Hannah Jane. This is a fast murder mystery that's under 300 pages. I finished this within a few hours. It follows the story of Sawyer. She is 17 years old, pretty good student, but her ex-boyfriend was, you know, kind of abusive. Okay, there's no kind of, he was. And when he dies in a car crash, you know, she thinks it's an accident, but she gets a note in her locker and it says, you're welcome on it. So somebody knows that her and her boyfriend's relationship wasn't perfect and they were the perfect couple at school. There's a lot of school drama in here and also I think the thriller was a little predictable but um, someone 
Like, a, a teenager would love this story. The Caraval Trilogy, so that's Caraval. Ooh. Legendary and then finale. I remember, you know, reading Carval, which is the first book, and I got like halfway through it and I was bored. So, um, this was back in early 2021, by the way, and I have not picked up this series since. I just lost interest in it, and I'm like, okay. I don't think I'm gonna be giving this another shot anytime soon. I have a lot of books on my TBR, especially books that I'm more interested in, and I don't want this just taking up space on my shelves and collecting dust when I know that there's somebody else out there who could have these. These are in really good condition. Remember guys, like when I bought all of Book Talk's most popular favorites, I did a massive book haul in 2021, early 2021, and I think I bought a lot of books. Like I <laughs> I received a big amount of money that year for my birthday and I just spent most of it on books so I really need another haul like that and I'm, I'm desperate for another haul like that and I'm gonna get one soon. Next is Ember of Night. I read this too like in 2021 guys I could not tell you what happened in this book like I don't remember it <laughs> so I'm like all right well if I don't remember it clearly I didn't think it was that, like important enough well not important I don't think it's the right word which is like it didn't stick I didn't find it Next is Fable. This is like a mermaid book. Um, I got halfway through this and I think I DNF'd it. <laughs> I know you guys are thinking, girl, what books do you finish? <laughs> like, but guys, I do finish books. It's just, I don't, like since late 2021 and all of 2022, I don't force myself to read books I don't like. So yeah, I DNF'd it, sorry. The Red Queen Quartet. So that's Red Queen. Glass Sword, King's Cage, and Warstorm. This is also a series I did not finish, but I think I liked the first book. Um, yeah. This will also be on Pango as well as the rest of the books that I'm selling. That is everything. So like I said, very short video. And I know that I'm doing a reading vlog very soon here and it's going to be finishing the books that I was supposed to read in February and also January as well. I'm having a decent reading month so far so um, I can't wait for a good wrap up. If you like this video be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and as always the links to my other socials such as my book talk, my book blog, um, bookstagram that will be in the description box below. I'm gonna go make up pics because it's never too late even though it's like past 10 p.m. <laughs> Alright.